Good morning, everybody. Me, Paul McRae here. I'm a little early for Wasted Lunch, but I am going to be busy at noon time, so I'm on here early. So, uh, here we are. It's Tuesday morning. The time is 10.48 Oven Standard. What's happening, guys? What's going on with you? Um, like I said, I'm on here a little early because at noon time, I'm not going to be at my home. I'm going to be out and about. And let me try and straighten up my camera for you. There we go. That way, not everything's all wacky. Looking like, uh, you know, the old cabinet of Dr. Caligari movie where everything's off kilter there. Justice here. Anyways, uh, wow. It's in here. Got my coffee, which is almost empty. Got my smokes. Watched the third Hobbit movie last night. And I must say, it, it was a good movie. It was a really good movie. You know, I've been watching the Hobbit movies every night for the last three nights. Been watching one Hobbit at a time. And it'd be hard to watch two of them at a time, wouldn't it? But, uh, yeah, I've been watching those and finally finished the trilogy with the third one last night. Real good movie. Now, I'm not 100% sure of the running times on these movies, but the third one moved, the third one seemed a lot shorter. I'm not sure if it was two hours or whatever, but it, it seemed to move a lot faster than the first two Hobbit movies. Um, you know, it started off with the dragon fight, you know, and then from there on was, you know, all about a huge war. So there was lots of action in it. And I think it was a shorter film. I'm not 100% sure. Should we put short. the leaf back in? I don't know. Just so we have room. We're debating over whether or not to put the leaf back in our table here. I don't know. It takes up more room that way, though. It does, but then it seems like as soon as I took out the leaf, we have people coming over all the time. No. Yeah. So, if we put the leaf back in, I see your logic. If we put the leaf, my wife said, the second we took the leaf out of the table, we started having more company and more people coming over, so there's less room at the table. Yeah. Right? So, I think my wife's theory is this. If we put the leaf back in the table, we'll stop having visitors to our home. <laughs> Is that where you're getting at? No, that's not what I was getting at. It's I was getting at, so putting the leaf back in, when we do have visitors, we have plenty of room. Oh, okay. I was... I guess I looked at that a little differently. <laughs> <sighs> so you're saying just put it... Okay, well... I thought maybe you thought the table was magical or something, but... No, I actually want to switch up Too much Hobbit tables. movies. I'm going to put that table in here, back in here. How do you feel about that? Uh, the other table, was it wider or not? Maybe it wasn't any wider. No, but it's more sturdier. Yeah. And this doesn't happen. No. Yeah, I mean, it does shake my camera, so maybe it'd be better. But <sighs> And it's nice to have a change of pace. Mm. It's good to have options, isn't it? Yeah. And since we have we three got... tables... We should choose one. Hey, we can always put that little Got kitchen table in here instead. All over the place now. And put this one downstairs for the family air rec room. I don't know. I don't know what would be better. Now I'm talking tables here. Sorry, uh, folks. Yeah, but the uh, third Hobbit movie, I mean, it was pretty much all action. Can't ever derail him. Yeah. Don't try. I try. But it, uh, it was all action. And the movie seemed to move a lot faster than the first two films. Seemed to be over a lot quicker. 
But I think I think it might have been a shorter film too. I mm -hmm. I did not compare the the times of these movies, so so I don't know. But it compared to the other two movies, it seemed like okay, action, action, action. Well, we're over. And uh, now, not saying it didn't wrap up the film good or the story good. There, the movie was wrapped up at the end nicely. <clears throat> it was. It just, I, I think it was a shorter movie. And I don't know. Some of you guys probably know for certain whether or not that's true, but it, it seemed a hell of a lot shorter than the, the first, first one's two. three hours and two minutes. First one's three hours and two minutes. Well, I know that movie last night was not that long. It seemed more like a couple hours, maybe a little over two hours, two hours twenty minutes or something. I, I'm guessing. Guessing, my wife's looking up the facts right now. Um, I speculate, uh, but yeah, it started off with the uh, dragon fight, which you knew by the end of the second one, uh, the dragon was headed out to this uh, town on a lake, ready to raise hell. Well, he raised hell in, in that third movie. I mean, it was bad what he did to the town but uh, he was taken down um, the second film is two hours and 41 minutes second one's two hours and 41 minutes so mm -hmm. it's already shorter than the first one by 40 minutes almost. yes okay so the second one was even shorter than the first one so now we're going to find out just how long that third one was uh, good movies uh, you know the uh, movies were <clears throat> 2 hours and 24 minutes 2 hours 24 minutes yes not bad eh not bad mm -hmm. because I, I remember starting the movie at, at around 9 maybe a little bit before 9 and then it was I don't know 11 20 or something at the end, but, you know, taking a bathroom break, me and the kids, and all that good stuff, so, yeah, but, uh, the, you know, what came into the story a lot was, over the three movies, it really started coming in, the second movie was, you know, these prophecies and stuff that were to be fulfilled, um, uh, and, in the third one, you know, they, these, there were a few characters who, you know, had uh, ancestors. Oh, that chick that, that was the were, elf? She was the chick on Lost. The main chick with the black oh, curly okay. hair. Okay. Huh. That makes sense. There were a couple characters who, you know, had legacies uh, or their ancestors. Uh, you know, like the the king of the dwarves. You know, his family had a past, and and that was interesting. How you know he he was to reclaim the throne, and then the man who ended up fighting the dragon in the village in this town on on the lake. Uh, his can't remember if it was his grandfather or great grandfather tried to fight the dragon too, but didn't take him down. And and so you know this dude who was you know a descendant from the first guy who fought the dragon ended up uh, finishing the job that his was it his granddad or something fought the dragon first. Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. But either way, this guy ended up you know because. Uh, his, whether it was grandpa or great grandfather or whatever, had fought the dragon but hadn't killed him. So, in a way, he was kind of a joke because of that. And, you know, he was picked on about that. How uh, he didn't take him out, but this guy, the descendant of the first dragon fighter, ended up actually killing the dragon. So, you know, there the family name was made good again. And uh, so 
Now, the difference between viewing the third movie and the first two was that my wife actually did not watch the third movie with us. What's up, Josh? How are you doing? I was talking about the uh, Hobbit movies. I just finally watched all the Hobbit movies. Yeah, all these years, and I just now watched the Hobbit movies. But I was talking about the third one. I, I finished watching that last night. And it was a good movie. Uh, just, you know, I, I think... I'm not going to say I'm going to turn around and rewatch these movies anytime soon. But I could see myself watching these movies again in the future. Now it's The Lord of the Rings we got to watch. Yeah, but, but you know, they're... The Hobbit movies are all, you know, it's three movies that are a giant prequel to the Lord of the Rings movies. So, now after watching them, makes me want to go and watch the Lord of the Rings movies, which I haven't seen those in years. I haven't seen those movies in years, so. Uh, but, with watching the Hobbit movies... They, they, at the end of them, at the end of the trilogy, leads right into the first Lord of the Rings movies. So, uh, it's got me wanting to watch, rewatch the Lord of the Rings movies. But, and then maybe I'll have a better opinion of the Lord of the Rings movies now that I've seen The Hobbit. I didn't have a bad opinion of them. I thought they were good movies. It's just, uh... I, I think I'm going to be comparing these Lord of the Rings movies to the Hobbit movies now. Yeah. Yes, they are epic movies. I mean, they're, you know, the army battles, you know, the, what seems like hundreds of thousands of soldiers, whether it be it orcs, dwarves, elves, humans, whatever, Yes, huge scope to those films. Uh, location shooting, photography, absolutely gorgeous movies. Um, the mountains, the castles, the forests, uh, you know, the journeys, everything is, is so huge scale-wise. Um, which makes, you know, the incredible films and I was talking the other day about how I couldn't believe when they when the first one came out that it was made by Peter Jackson because I have known of Peter Jackson's work from uh, horror films he had done and then he, he went from these small horrible movies independent you know horror flicks to these gigantic budget <clears throat> uh sprawling epic fantasy movies and that surprised the hell out of me but that is what happened I still would like to find out how just how in the hell he got that gig yeah the Hobbit movies okay you're saying they're for more of all ages yeah they are um uh, but I'll tell you they're they, they're uh They've got their violence in them, too. I mean, they've got, you know, orcs getting their heads cut off. and um, you, you know, they're, but, yeah, they they are more accessible for youngins, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I think what they tried to do with the Hobbit movies, with that violence, which, you know, was had it go by so fast, so you weren't sitting around thinking... Damn, that orc's head just went flying off. Because by the time an orc's head or arm got lopped off, it happened so fast. And then there's no pause. And then they're just fighting yet another orc right after it, you know. Batty after batty after batty after batty is, is how most of those battles were. See, Until, of course, they built the climaxes now. where, you know... The lead good guy finally, him and his arch nemesis, finally have their showdown. Then 
then there's more time to uh, appreciate or see just how violent they are, I guess. Whereas um, the other battles are usually, I mean, there's so many people involved in, in, in the elves and their swish, swish, swishing of their swords and jumping around and hopping off of shit and spinning and, you know, slicing through people. It's, you know, let's see, Hobbit was originally written as a young adult novel. Yeah, I remember, Josh, I remember you talking about The Hobbit when we were kids. Um, I remember you were a Hobbit fan. And, of course, that was long before any massive film was made about them. You know, there were the Hobbit movies, the cartoon ones. Uh, but those, of course... Completely different level than the motion pictures, of course. So, but, uh, yeah, I remember you telling me about The Hobbit, trying to get me to read it, and I never read it. Still haven't read it. But, uh, yeah, so with these Hobbit movies, Bilbo finally got to, you know, he probably finally got to uh, get some screen time. Honey, could you get me some more coffee, please? Thank you. But, uh, yeah. Incredible movies. And now I'm starting to wonder, when I watch these Lord of the Rings movies, am I going to be making comparisons? Am I going to be saying the Hobbit movies were better? Because, you know, they were made later with the more... With the... Uh, how to say it, with the uh, more advanced technology, <coughs> because, thank you. You're welcome. According to the awards, the Let's Lord see. of the Rings were better. According to who? The, uh, what, the Academy the Awards? Amount, the amount the of awards? awards that they got. Okay, won. my wife's saying, according to the awards received by films, Lord of the Rings movies receive more awards, right? Yeah, because Jackson got some backlash over the tri uh, trilogy's length. Mm. Though The Lord of the Rings was nine hours in total, nine it was hours. based on three epic novels, while right. The Hobbit arrived at the same length of the films by stretching just one 300-page book. I told you, this big. 300-page book. Yes. Right now, all now. Let's see, got to run. Wasted lunch. Day. Thanks. Thanks. I'm glad you like the series, dude. And thanks for popping on. Take care of yourself, dude. Much love. Um, yeah. Good. Good movies. But, uh, okay. So what you're telling me is, what my wife just said was, The Hobbit was only 300 pages. Yes. It got turned into three. Nine hours. Uh, almost nine hours of film. Uh -huh. From a 300 page book. Mm -hmm. So, now, since I didn't read The Hobbit, I don't know what was added, what was stretched. Um, a lot. I can't remember it all, though. I mean, you know, you've got some time in the just showing, just the location photography, you know, showing them adventuring, you know, on their journey, you, you've got screen time with that, you know, you got that, that can be stretched out a bit. Now, you read The Hobbit, right? Uh-huh. How long, how long ago was that, though? It was probably a while back. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Do you remember there being two giant no. rock mountain, no. or three, or however many there were Most giants of fighting I each other? Most remember that he did... He was in that cave with the little creepy creature. But you know what? Here's another thing the Hobbit had that took, but that probably stretched it out. There was a lot of fighting in those movies. Yeah. A lot. I mean, there was a lot of combat in those movies. That took up a... There was a great deal of screen time just in fighting, which I liked. Don't get me wrong. I can get, I can get caught up in the sappy romance and drama and things like that too. But 
you know, with these fantasy movies, I want to have my action too. So I, I'm not going to complain about the amount of screen time that was devoted to fighting. There was a lot of it, um, which kept it exciting. So, I mean, I was amazed at just how much fighting there was in, in the movies. I'm not complaining. You know, it's, I remember the Lord of Rings had their fights too, but I don't think as much time was spent in those movies on sheer combat. Do you? As a hobbit, do you? You it's, need to it's be been smart. Years. It's been years. Get this man off the TV. It's been years since I've seen it, guys. I remember there being a lot of, you know, hobbit hand holding and stuff like that. And, you know. Uh, you know a lot what? Of romance. You know what? Somebody, somebody, somebody out there, do something, say something, derail him. This is, I'm using, you know, I'm going off of memory here, which it, is not well, that good. Well, stinks. Okay. That's real nice. My memory stinks. Okay. I'm going off of what I recall. There was... I remember the second movie seemed to have a hell of a lot more action than the other two, from what I recall. Would you agree or not? No, I do not you agree. Disagree. The first one doesn't have as much, as much action as in battles and whatnot. Yeah. There is a battle at the end of the movie. It's not very big and it doesn't last very long. But there are several battles in The Return of the King. And I know there's few. battles, but did they devote as much screen time to just the combat as The Hobbit did, do you believe? Yes, I think more. Really? And I'm going to I'm going to have my own better opinion of this once I rewatch the Lord of the Rings. You're movies. Grounded. I haven't seen them for ages. Then stop running your mouth about something you can't remember. But I'm being honest about it from what I recall. And Good I morning, could be Vincent. wrong about it. Where? And you know, when I watch the Lord of the Rings movies, if I'm wrong about it and find out I'm wrong about it, I will happily be wrong with it because like I just said I like the combat scenes. You know, I like the um, sword fights you know, and stuff in, like that. In my opinion, even though the Hobbit series was good, the Lord of the Rings is better. Okay. I think they're all equal. Well, well here's, here's a question. And since the movies are not so fresh in my mind, okay, but you have seen... The first two Hobbit movies now. Mm -hmm. Was the fighting in the Lord of the Rings movies, do you believe it was as visceral and... and Speak Teresa terms, please. Graphic. Yes. As, okay. Actually, it was more graphic. Where heads getting lopped off. Yeah, and, stuff, and there was orc orcs. blood squirting. Now, okay. the Hobbits, there wasn't... You there, think the Hobbit was less so? Yeah, because, in, in my, yeah, they were lopping off heads, but there was ooze and yeah, crap and see, stuff I, in the Lord of the Rings. Well, and I will, I will admit that. that, you know, it's been years since I saw the Lord There's of the Rings. There's another difference. Uh, the, uh, in the Hobbit, the orc armies, most of them are computer generated. Yeah. But like in the Lord of the Rings, a lot of those were actually people. Well, yeah, you know, most of them were well, people. Well, I you know... I didn't make the movies. I didn't have a hand in making the movies. Which what I experience. what I figure, a, a lot of these vast armies, you know, probably had lots of people made up, mass, w whatever. You know, well, for the first so many rows of soldiers and stuff. And then once you start getting further back, they probably started computer generating them. You know what I mean? Lord to make the them Rings, seem like they were no, stretching for miles. They hired... All those people. He mm -hmm. got uh, accommodation or something from the queen because he gave over 10,000 people that were ordinary people jobs. Oh, so it's like they didn't just they actually didn't, employ some military or something. No, they they were just regular people. Because, uh, interesting, uh, I remember one time watching Braveheart and uh, Mel Gibson's commentary, and this was years ago. Um, but I believe he said, you know, it was the uh, Irish army or something, mm. uh, 
Irish soldiers were um, participating in the making of the Braveheart movie, and that helped you know, fatten up those ranks and make so many um, soldiers for the battles and stuff. And, you know, that's why I wondered, you know, but you're saying they used ordinary Joes for... Yeah, they probably... I don't know if they had... I never read anything uh-huh. about that. I couldn't be mistaken, but he was, he got, he was commended for that because wow. he employed thousands of people. Yeah, I had to. I mean, those movies were gigantic. And yes, don't get me wrong. There was CGI. You know, like with horses and shit in battles, there was CGI in that because, of well, course, yeah, they're not going to damage, they don't, damage they don't a horse. Hurt, or they don't intentionally hurt horses mm-hmm. for movies like they did back in the days. But, um, you know, back in the days, they'd go ahead and pull out a trip rope or something and pull these horses' legs out from under them. And, you know, a lot less animal friendly back in the old days, filmmaking. Um, which brings up another thing about Braveheart. They were accused of hurting horses making that movie. And they ended up proving and showing that they had mechanical horses with those wooden, I don't know, pikes or whatever you called it, jammed in them to prove that they didn't actually hurt horses during the making of that movie. I remember hearing about that too. So... There's another Braveheart comparison there. But, watch the Hobbit movies. Now I'm wanting to watch the Lord of the Rings movies. Now I'm probably going to be drawing comparisons. And I think, and that's good. And I think it would be better to watch the Lord of the Rings movies for me now sooner than later. And, you know, then I can, you know, while the story's still from the Hobbit, the lead in is still fresh in my mind. Because I remember the Lord of the Rings movie starting out with old uh, Bilbo and them talking about how he had adventures, but they didn't explain what kind of adventures. No, and he really didn't. You know? he, he didn't really say anything about his adventures. No, there wasn't. he said that he wanted to go to Rivendell to finish his book, and he told Frodo he could read it when it was finished. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Film-wise, it's probably what I'm going to be doing next is watch the Lord of the Rings stuff. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys, this is all old hat, but, uh, you know, I guess that's what the Hobbit movies, I'm, I'm sure I am far from the only person who watched Hobbit movies and then immediately wanted to rewatch the Lord of the Rings movies, so, but, uh, Looking at the time here, it's 11.16, oven standard. I'm going to have to get off here because I have to get going soon. So I will bid you adieu and wish everybody and hope all of you guys have an awesome, fantastical day. Um, Good luck, whatever you're doing. I, I hope you have a good time doing it, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Bye.